Hello everybody, we are back for the quarterfinal round of the Trite Tussle Tournament. To get through this to the semi-finals, we have got this lineup, ladies and gentlemen. So, at first, we are going to see Super Chomp going up against the Super Trike. That's going to be a super match. Then, we are going to see the Poison Type Maximus taking on the Paper Paper Type Orange Trike. At third, it's going to be a clash of armors between Chomp Dino Tector and Maximus with the Spectral Armor. And to conclude our quarterfinal matchup, we have Maximus Paper Paper Type going up against the Heroic Type Grey Trike. So, let's get on with our first matchup, shall we? And remember, if you enjoy these mini tournaments, definitely check out previous mini tournaments I've done in the past. Leave a like, subscribe, do whatever you want. And without further ado, let's get on with our first match. Okie dokie. In the red corner, we have got Super Chomp. And for those of you who need reminding, the Awaken Mode will be activated for both of these guys as soon as their HP is below half. I, I don't know who's going to win this one. I think the, uh, whoever gets the Awakened hit will probably have the best chance of winning. Right, in the blue corner, we have got the Super Triceratops. Um, this one, I, this one is more attack-minded than the Super Chomp, but could play into its hands. But again, I think this matchup is going to come down to who gets that awakened hit off. Ooh, okay, so it's uh, Super Trike getting the first shot of the match. That's a crit, that's a kamikaze tackle. A tiny jar, a dive to gun, that's going to be a massive shot from the Super Trike. But it is going to give Chomp the opportunity for an awakened hit. Elemental, Super Can Chomp get this big hit here? Oh, he can't. That's a hit from the Orange Trike. And unfortunately, despite the Awaken Mode being active, Super Chomp does not survive, and the Super Trike takes the 1-0 lead. Okie dokie, round two between these two. Will the, will the Super Trike continue to uh, dominate, or can Super Chomp rally back here? Okay, we start with a tie. Super Chomp does have the Plasma, so ties are a factor here. But not getting it off at the minute. Oh, and this is Super Try getting the first shot again. A Tappy Jar a dive to come to. Oh, okay. But we will. It will be a waiting time for Chomp. Can he get this big hit this time? Oh, he can. And this could be a big turning point here. Chomp gets the awakened hit. Not much damage done. And Chomp's HP will be half after the Awakened Hit. Oh, hang on. A Lightning Axe. Is this going to be lethal? This could be lethal damage here. Oh, it is. Chomp gets the big hit. And we are all square. Going into a deciding match. Well, this could be interesting. That Awakened Hit in the second round really made a difference. Ooh, okay, Chomp getting the first hit again. A Dromeo Rush coming in too. This is much better from Chomp. Finish. And oh, wow, Super Trike hasn't had a chance in an Awakened hit yet. Hasn't needed it. Oh, well, he's going to now because that is a hit from Chomp, which is going to take the Trike take people below half. You know what this means. And this, if it gets a crit, Chomp's dream journey could end here. He is the last surviving Chomp in this tournament. Well, other than the Dino Tech one. Okay, that's a tie. No plasma anchor. Oh, it gets the hit. Okay, it's not the worst case scenario. Oh, hang on. Okay, no, it's not lethal. And look how tight it is. Oh, almost botched that then. And it's awakening time for Chomp. It all comes down to this. Oh, 
Oh, the trike gets the hit! The super trike gets the hit! Chop fails to get an awakened hit! And that'll do it! And it is Super Triceratops going through to the semis at the expense of Super Chomp. Well, that was fun, wasn't it? What a way to start the quarterfinals. Right then, on to match number two. Okie dokie, in the red corner, we have got the Poison type Maximus. Well, the Maximus clan are having a very good tournament so far. Oh, I think all of them survived the first round. In the blue corner, we have got the orange Triceratops. They didn't, well, they mostly had a good first round. Although they did lose a few, they lost 50% of their population. <laughs> I think the uh, strength type orange trike went, and the, ob and the trike tector went. But this trike survived, and super trike survived, and just won the previous match. Maximus getting the first shot of the match. It's going to be maximum damage from the Thunder Bazooka. Okay, that's a tie. Ooh, okay, Orange Trike getting the next shot of the match is a lightning strike. This one is quite attack minded, I should say. Ooh, okay, Counter Blitz has been triggered. I guarantee Maximus at least some form of damage. And it is going to be a Counter Blitz, and that's a crucial Counter Blitz, because that would have been a crit. And that could have spelt lethal damage for Maximus. But instead, the Counter Blitz is going to come in there, it's going to stop that crit. That could be crucial come the end game of this match. Well, it's very crucial in the context of this round because that is going to put Maximus 1-0 up. How critical was that counter blitz? Right, round two. Ooh, you're going to heat things up with a volcano feel, the looks of it, for round two. Oh, that's a crit from the trike. That's just the start he needs. Okay, maybe it wouldn't have got off lethal damage in the first round. Oh, it's another crit. This is just the response they want. Okay, no counter blitz either, and counter blitz is probably not going to feature. And just like that, the orange triceratops leveling things up. So you know what that means? We are going to go on to a deciding round between these two. Wow, Maximus really didn't get a hit. The orange triceratops came out with a swagger and style. Right then, our deciding round. We've got enough juice in the uh, generator to, to prevail. Okay, that's a tie. Uh, don't think there's no plasma minders, so ties aren't really a factor. Oh, that's a crit from the trike. Orange Triceratops picking up where it left off. Oh, and going off with an electric charge this time. That could be a big charge up there. And Maximus really getting just stung by these crits. Okay, there's a hit, and he needed this hit. Oh wow, that was a kind of a weak hit, to be honest. They need, they need more than that. This orange Triceratops is looking really strong, and could this be our first Maximus casualty in the tournament? Okay, here's a hit. That's a lightning strike with the electric charge buff. This is going to do big damage. This might actually be lethal. Oh, it's not, but it almost is. The counter blitz is going to come in. Electric charge is going to max up again, but that's irrelevant at this point. Now, and Maximus will get a hit here unless it's a tie. Oh, it's a tie. They got the counter blitz, but it's a tie, and that'll do it. And the orange triceratops goes through to the semi finals. And we have our first Maximus casualty of the tournament. Well, that's two out of two for the orange trikes. Will one of them win it? 
Right, on to match number three, which should be a very, very fun match. Righty-ho, in the red corner, we have got Chomp Dino Tactor. Well, one of the tournament favourites here. I, well, either way, one of the tournament favourites is going to go out here. <laughs> but yeah, whoever wins this match will... I don't know, because you've still got Super Trike in the tournament. Will be one of the favourites when they meet Super Trike in the semis. Right, in the blue corner we have got Maximus with the Spectral Armour this time. And yeah, this one... Maximus looked... This guy looked really strong in the first round. I think it was a complete sweep against Chomp. And Maximus, this Maximus looking to defeat yet another Chomp in this tournament. And this chomp is the last chomp standing. Okay, the move breaker there, nullifying that paper move. Okay, chomp getting the first shot of the match. It's a oh, it's a skydiver, but get ready. <laughs> the quest is gonna come down. Oh no! Boosh! Spinny, 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 smack! Actually, speaking of quests, I should update my quests for Evolution Two. I really need to do that. We need to get it ready for Halloween. Oh, well, here she comes again. It's another skydive. This is good from Chomp, filling up the Dino Tector bar as well. I hope we get into a scenario where we get both Spectral Armor and the Dino Tector, but so far that's not happening. Because Maximus keeps getting hit. Okay, that's a tie. It's going to nullify that paper move yet again. But Maximus really not getting a hit. Okay, here we go. It's Dino Tector time. Time to enter the code. Dino Tector on! Well, it's an ultimate thunder would be overkill, but it would be cool to see. <laughs> but I'm hoping Maximus gets some hits so we can see Spectral Armor. Maybe my vision will come true. Uh, no. <laughs> that tie's gonna do it. Maximus is gonna go down, and Chomp is gonna take the 1 0 lead. Yeah. Right, on the round two. Okie oh, dokie, round two. Will Maximus actually fire a shot in this match? Uh, so far, no. Really? Okay, that's, okay, that's a tie. That's going to trigger the Gatlin spark. It does nullify the final thunder, though. That's the only thing Maximus has been able to do. Well, it's going to be a beneficial, beneficial. I can't say the word. It's going to be a. It's going to benefit Maximus. <laughs> Getting rid of that final thunder. Oh, come on, Maximus! Get, come on, Maximus! You could do it. It's a tie, and oh my god, <laughs> freaking Dino Tector again, right, end of the code. Well, this has been a very rough match for Maximus so far. I don't, they haven't even got a hit in this match. It's been all chomp. Okay, please survive. Okay, he survived. Come on, Maximus, get the hit. Yes, he got, he got the hit. Oh, hang on, this could actually be really interesting because... It is Spectral Armor time. Can Maximus pull this back? The Jagaba! Go on, Maximus! At least level the score. Well, this would be a comeback of all comebacks. Yeah, we got our wish. It's Dino Tech against Spectral Armor. Here we go. It's all on this. A hit for Chomp ends this match. A hit for Maximus and they stay alive. Oh, Maximus gets the hit! Maximus keeps their tournament alive. With a Spectral Punisher punishing Chomp for their misdeeds in the first round. Maximus is going to even things up. And we are going on to a deciding round between these two armoured dinosaurs. Look at that. Maximus on the brink of death. But somehow rallied back. Got the Spectral Armour. Got the Spectral Punisher off. And got the win. Right. We're on, on to our deciding round. Okie dokie. Well, here we go. Our deciding round between these three, two. Oh, that's a final thunder from Chomp. Just the start he wants. Oh, 
Oh, I like that one. Rock, paper, scissors. And yep, I think that's... Yep, got it. Maximum damage. Big start from Chom. That, that Spectral Punisher really riled him up, I think. <laughs> oh yeah, definitely. And actually, point the perspective how crucial that move breaker was on the final Thunder in the last round. Which basically kept Maximus alive. Move breaker really earning its money here. Oh, never mind. Chomp's won. <laughs> oh, a bit of an underwhelming deciding round, but it is Chomp that's gonna be taking this victory here over Maximus with a final thunder to finish the job. That, let's be honest, should have been finished in round two. But thankfully, the move breaker got rid of the final thunder, so we got the Spectral Destroyer. Punisher. And yet, Maximus bowing out. Wow, this is not a good round for Maximus so far. We've had the poison type Maximus go, and now the spectral armor Maximus is gone. Right, on to our final match of this session. And will another Maximus bite the dust? Right the ho then, in the red corner we have got Maximus, the paper paper type Maximus. Right, this this is the, the last Maximus standing in this tournament, so you're flying the flag for Team Maximus here. <laughs> We've lost the Spectral Armor Maximus, and we've lost the Poison Type Maximus. Also flying the flag for Team Grey Tripe, we have got the Grey Tripe. This one is the Heroic Type one. And yet, he is the last one standing. All the other Grey Tripes went out in the first round. But this guy, he pulled off the upset of the round in knocking out the Trice Trike Tector. Can he knock out Maximus to go through to the semis, where he will meet the orange Triceratops? Oh, that's a crit for Maximus though, that's a really good start, a poise, a venom fang. This is not good. Oh no, spitties. That's going to poison the trike as well, that's uh, going to chip away at its HP. Alright. Okay, we don't have plasma anchor or anything, so Ty's armed a factor. Ooh, okay. There's a crit. That's gonna be a Oh, final thunder. <laughs> I forgot what it was then. Yes! Okay, so it's going to be a big final thunder coming from the heroic tribe. I know, I don't talk much during these because I'm concentrating. You understand, yes. But a, oh, wow, look at that. Evening things up. Okay, the paper paper type effect has been activated on the Maximus, so a hit here is going to do extra damage. And they get the hit, and that hit is going to be lethal because of the buff that Maximus get, and yep, there it is. The heroic trike goes down and Maximus takes a 1-0 lead as we move on to round 2. Right then, round 2. Can Maximus take the 2-0 victory or can the heroic trike find some heroics in its legs? Ooh, okay. Getting off that final thunder. found a light like one of these dinosaurs in Australia. Like, no, no, no a ceratops in, in Australia. Imagine if we found it. I mean, we probably, we won't because they, they didn't go down there, but it'd be cool. Though. We, we could be like the thunder from down under. Okay, that's gonna, but anyway, back to this match. That's gonna trigger the counter blitz. The, uh, I always get confused if it's Rufio Rush or Romeo Rush. Well, one of the rushes come in with the kit. Counter Blitz though being triggered, that does guarantee Maximus at least some form of damage in this match. So yeah, might as well go for the crit. Okay, it's a tie. But that was a big shot from the Heroic Trike. So it's a tie. Ooh, okay, Maximus getting the hit in the end. 
Maybe it's W equal tail? Oh, but that's going to do it. The heroic trike is going to even things up with that hit. And we are going to go on to a deciding match between these two. Right the hole then. Let's see who's got enough juice in the generator. Right. Okay, there's a tie. Okay, the heroic trike definitely took more damage there. But Maximus does have slightly more health on this. Oh, that's a Venom Fang. That's not good for the Heroic Trike, but very good for Maximus. That's going to poison the Trike as well. So that's going to also increase damage. That's going to wear him down. Not ideal. The Venom Fang played a big role in why Maximus won the first round. Okay, that's a tie, but again, that's going to wear the Grey Trike down. And is this going to be the end of the Grey Trikes in this tournament? I think it's going to be. Come on, can he rally back? Nope, that's it. That's it for the Grey Triceratops in this tournament. All of them are gone now. And Maximus, the paper paper Maximus, will go through to the semi-final taking the 2-1 victory. Right. That is it for the quarterfinals. So we'll have a look at our semi-final lineup and we shall end the session. Well, that is our semi-final lineup, ladies and gentlemen. So over here is probably going to be the big clash between the Super Triceratops and the Chomp Dinotector. And then over here, it is going to be the Orange Trike, the Paper Paper Type 1, going up against the Paper Paper Type Maximus. So that's going to be an interesting match. <laughs> And sadly, none of the grey Triceratopses got to the semi-finals. But, you know, it is what it is. And yep, yeah, that's going to end this session here. So I hope you enjoyed. And until next time, ta-ta. Mm -hmm.